Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you're okay. I hope that you have been um, watching your videos. I know that very little of you watch it, but I'm guessing that those are the, gonna be the ones that are gonna be locked in the exam. Yesterday we, um, we did important facts until page 42. So today we are going to do from 43 on. Yep. Important facts, 43 on. Um, I'm going to read two pages and then you're going to read the same. Um, we're getting closer to the point on which you are going to have to um, uh, use your important facts to make a, a, a big summary and a video summary uh, that you're going to have to send in the platform. I'm sorry that you didn't understand the instruction when I gave it in the live class. You're supposed to compress the video in an app. If you just write compress or vi uh, comprimir video in the app store, you're going to find apps that help you make your video smaller because you keep trying to tell me that you're going to send it through WhatsApp and I'm not, I'm not going to accept it through WhatsApp because I gave you instructions in the live class. The live class, it's in the, in the classwork area in the live classes. You can go watch it again and see uh, the app that I told you to use to compress it and how to do your work in PDF. Um, so uh, thank you for the ones that follow instructions. I'm sorry for the ones that didn't follow instructions. Please follow the instructions. Um, so today we are going to continue working, writing your notebook at Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday the 2nd, yeah, Wednesday, December the 2nd, 2020. I'm sorry if you hear my neighbors crying. Um, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad. Um, because uh, Happy Hanukkah and all that, because uh, it's Christmas, we, it's, it's December. Later did we know it's gonna be my birthday. Air, 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 air. So uh, today we're going to start reading from 43 on. I'm gonna read a little of the page and then you're gonna stop um, reading. Uh, I'm gonna stop reading and then you're gonna remember. Try to find an important fact for every page and I'm gonna tell you how many important facts you are going to find from this um, page uh, because you can write one important fact for every page one that globalizes everything that's going to help you for the moment when you have to make a big summary of all the chapters based on all the important facts that we have done i'm sorry for the ones that have been working so hard in making summaries i never ask for summaries but as much as you don't watch the videos because um, I, I have gotten a lot of complaints from your parents telling me that my class works are too uh, hard to do difficult to do and they're too long because i leave too many summaries and i was like what summaries i leave no summaries because they're thinking that the you because you didn't watch the video you were making summaries of the pages or you were incorrectly copying the um the page from the book into your paper and that costs zero i didn't ask for that so um, I'm sorry for the ones that didn't follow instructions. In your exam, I'm gonna give you one chapter that you're gonna read alone, and I'm gonna tell you how many important facts you're gonna have to send me in, uh, in a piece of paper, and you're gonna have to turn that into a summary. So uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see all the people that haven't watched the videos, how difficult it's gonna be. So um, my advice, watch the videos complete. Don't do only the things that are in the explanations, because you're not really following instructions. And hey, you cannot watch the videos. That's no harm for me. I know that six people are watching them. Six people are gonna get great grades. So let's do it. So page 43, um, chapter three. Yep, okay, so let's do it. The system, oh, I, we, did, we did the date, right? Okay, yes, we did. This, I'm gonna write how many important facts, important facts. Okay, so I'm gonna write. Uh, sorry, my neighbor is crying. Um, okay, so the system verified that I was on the chat room access list. Remember, he went to. Okay, so if you didn't finish reading, I'm sorry. Um, he already moved on. It's very interesting to see at the end of the ch of chapter number two because he talks about. Um, Artemis, the, the one that he's in love with, she's really pretty. Something that I like in this book is that the characters are normal people. He's chubby and he has a lot of acne. In Artemis, she's, uh, she's not skinny like a Barbie, like Cameron, Dove Cameron at all. 
she's like a chunky girl she's kind of like a ch in the chubby side she's not skinny like a barbie she has red hair and she's just a normal girl so i like that the characters in this book don't create unrealistic expectations of what beauty is they are what they are they're chubby people normal people they're not exaggeratedly um beautiful no plastic surgery like dove cameron so they're just who they are okay uh, so he is in his um, in his uh, friend's um, basement, Aix, and um, right now they're going to talk. So let's see. The system verified that I was on the chat room's access list and allowed me to enter. My view of the classroom shrank from the limits of my peripheral vision to a small thumbnail window in the lower right of my display. Remember, he's seated in the classroom, but as much as he's waiting for uh, the class, he's just seated with the goggles on and he's like moving his mind is moving somewhere else he's entering a chat but he's still seated physically in the classroom with the interior of, of Ake's chat room my avatar appeared just inside the entrance a door at the top of a carpeted staircase the door didn't lead anywhere it didn't even open this was because the basement and its contents didn't exist as part of the oasis chat rooms were standalone simulations temporary virtual spaces that avatars could access from anywhere in oasis my avatar wasn't actually in the chat room. It only appeared that way. Wade Parzival, remember Parzival? Remember why he chose his name? Very interesting why he chose his name. I would have never thought that that would be the reason that he chose it. It's gonna be a very interesting exam question. Um, was he still, and why did he choose Way 3 as a name? That's also interesting because uh, he could have chosen something different because of the rules on the school, but yeah. Was he still sitting in my world history classroom with his eyes closed? Logging into a chat room was a little like being in two places at once. Ake made his, m had named his chat room the basement. He programmed it to look like a large suburban rec room circa old, the late 1980s. All movie and comic book posters covered the wood panel walls. A vintage RCA, RCA television stood in the center of the room, hooked up to a Betamax VCR. All, he's talking about all machinery, those old TVs that were really big in the back and those uh, cassettes, VHS cassettes that you used to. Um, a laser disc player and several vintage video games consoles. Bookshelves lined the far wall filled with role-playing game supplements and back issues of Dragon Magazine. Hosting a chat room this large wasn't cheap, but A could afford it. He made quite a big of dough competing in televised PvP arena games after school, and on the weekends, A was one of the highest ranked combatants in the Oasis. In both Deathmatch and captured the flag leaks. He was even more famous than Artemis. Over the past few years, the basement had become a highly exclusive hangout for elite gunters. A granted access only to people he deemed worthy. So being invited to hang out on the basement was a big honor, especially for a third level nobody like me. Okay, so from page 43, from page 43, what can we write as an important fact? We can write where he sat, so we can write, uh, uh, Wade Parsival went into Ake's basement chat room that, that, that is not real, that doesn't exist and it was full with vintage stuff, old stuff old TVs and old VCR and old game posters and old movie posters and um, Ake had money enough to make a chat room because you need money in there to make it because he was uh, a fighter after school there was something called pvp pvp is fighting it's a fight he was a fighter and uh, they pay you to fight or the obviously in the oasis not in real life and he would battle kind of like a street fighter or a capcom uh yeah street fighter right uh i don't know a lot about uh video games but yeah it's a it's a fighting game that he fights and when he wins money they gave him money and that's how we how he achieved it also he plays a game called capture the flag where people they hide a flag somewhere and two teams have to find it we seen this in um oh well, no we did in six six Flags. yeah in um, Divergent, they were playing Capture the Flag, where two teams have to go and catch the flag. So that's the play, that's the game that he plays. So Ake has money enough to make a basement chat room because he is a fighter and he gets paid to fight. And also 
he plays capture the flag. He's in a league, a, a group, in a team of people that plays that. And he was more famous than Artemis. So that would be for page 43. So I have one. These are long. These are long. Okay. So 40, 40, 44. Okay. As I descended the staircase, I saw a few dozen other gunters smiling around with avatars that varied widely in appearance. They were humans, cyborgs, demons, dark elves, Vulcans, and vampires. Most of them were gathered around the row of old arcade games against the wall. So in this area, in the school you have to be human, but in this area you could be whatever you want. So there were cyborgs, demons, elves, Vulcans, vampires, everything you can imagine because in out of the school, you can be anything, a three-headed unicorn if you want. Um, a few others stood by the ancient stereo currently blasting the wall boys by Duran Durant. I don't know that song, I'm pretty sure Karen knows it. Browsing through Ake's giant rack of vintage cassette tapes. Ake himself was sprawled on one of the chat room's three couches, which were arrayed in a U-shape in front of the TV. Ake's avatar was a tall, broad-shouldered Caucasian, Caucasian is gringo, male with dark hair and brown eyes. I'd ask him once if he looked anything like his avatar in real life and he jokingly replied, yes, but in real life I'm even more handsome. I don't know. As I walk over, he glanced up from the Intellivision game he was playing. He distinct distinctive Cheshire grin stretched from ear to ear. Z, he shouted. What's up, amigo? He stretched out his right hand and gave me five as I dropped into the couch opposite him. Ike had started calling me Z shortly after I met him. He looked like to give people single letter nicknames. Ike pronounced his own avatar's name just like the letter H. H. So his name is not Ike, it's H. Sorry. What up, Humperdink? I said. This was a game we played. I always called him by some random H name like Harry, Hubbard, Henry, or Hogan. I was making guesses at his real first name, which he once confided to me, began with the letter H. I known H for a little over three years. He was also a student in Ludus, a senior at OPS 1172, which was on the opposite side of the planet from my school, so they go to different schools. We'd met one week in public in public Gunter chat room and hit it off immediately because we shared a lot of the same interests which is to say one interest, a total all-consuming obsession with Holiday and his Easter egg. A few minutes into our first conversation, I knew H was the real deal, an elite gunter with some serious mental kung fu. He had his Aries trivia down cold and not just for the canon stuff. Either he was a true Holiday scholar and he apparently seemed the same qualities in me because he'd given me his contact card and invited me to hang out in his basement whenever I like. He'd been my closest friends ever since. Remember, he can go here only when he's online. This is not a real place. Over the years, a friendly rivalry gra uh, had gradually developed between us. We did a lot of trash talking about which one of us would get his name up into the sco scoreboard first. We were constantly trying to geek out each other with our knowledge of obscure Gante trivia. So we're gonna stop in there so we can do the, um, the important fact from page 44. So from page 44, we can describe the things that he's seen in there. We can say that H is the, the first letter of the name of H. He has been a friend with, um, with Parsival or with Gade or w with Wade for a long, uh, for so a couple years and um, he, his avatar looks like a Caucasian man with brown hair, like a gringo with brown hair. He, he looks very big. And he is passionate about Halliday's Easter egg hunting because, uh, because he's a fighter. I'm pretty sure that he's a very competitive person. So they constantly uh, uh, joke around each other and uh, H hasn't given his name to um, Wade, so he only tried to guess it by giving H random names to H so he can one day tell him what is his real name. That was for 44. Let's do 45. Sometimes we even conducted our research together. This usually consisted of watching cheesy 80s movies and TV shows here in this chat room. We also play a lot of video games, of course. H and I had wasted countless hours on two-player classics like Contra, Golden Axe, 
Heavy Barrel, Smash TV, and Ikari Warriors. Never played those things before. <laughs> Aside from yours truly, H was the best all-around gamer I ever encountered. We were evenly matched in most, at most games, but he could trounce me at certain titles, especially anything in the first-person shooter genre. This was his area of expertise, after all. I didn't know anything about H, over who H was, H was in the real world, but I got the sense his home life wasn't that great. Like me, he seemed to spend every walk, waking moment logged into the oasis. And even though he never, we never actually met in person, he told me more than once that I was his best friend, so I assumed he was just as isolated and, lo and lonely as I was. So what did you do after you bailed last night, he asked, tossing me the other Intellivision controller. We hang out here in this chat room for a few hours the previous evening, watching old Japanese monster movies. Nada, I said. Went home and brushed up on a few classic coin-ups. Unnecessary. Yeah, but I was in the mood. I didn't ask him what he'd done the night before, and, didn't, and he didn't volunteer any details. I knew he'd probably gone to Saiga... Uh, Gygax, or somewhere equally awesome to speedrun through a few quests and rack up some XP's. He just didn't want to rub it in. H could afford to spend a fair amount of time of world following up leads and researching for the copper key, but he never lord, lorded this over me or ridiculed me for not having enough dough to teleport anywhere. And he never insulted me by offering to loan me a few credits. It was an unspoken rule among gunsters. If you were a solo, you didn't want or need any help from anyone. Gunther's who want who, who helped join the clan, and H and both and H and I both agreed that clans were for suckasses and possessors. Suckasses is people that um they want help. They they don't they don't have enough. Uh, they don't do things by themselves. They uh, talk nicely about someone so they can get help from them. Um, we both vote to remain solos for life. We still occasionally had discussions about the egg, but these conversations were always guarded and were careful to avoid talking about the specifics. After I beat H at three rounds of Tron, Deadly Disc, I know that one, I watched the movie, he threw down his television controller in disgust and grabbed a magazine off the floor. It was an old issue of a Starlog. I recognized Rutger Rutger Ow Hauer on the cover in a Lady Hawk promotional photo. Starlog, hey? I said, noting my approval. So from page 45, we have 45, and three, three, and four, and uh, five, and uh, yeah. Six. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give you two more after this. So I'm gonna do 45. I'm doing 45, and then you're gonna do 46 and 47 by yourself. Um, 45. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to write as an important fact from page 45, 45. So we have one from 43, one from 44, one from 45. We have three important facts that you have to send, plus uh, 40, 46 and 47, five important facts that you have to write in a piece of paper. But these are very long because there's a lot of details in it. So I'm expecting a full page of information. So from page 45, we can say that, uh, 46 and 47, sorry. We can say that um, I'm guessing that H is Hispanic because he constantly talks in Spanish to Wade. And also they agreed that they would always walk, work solo, that they would never um, interfere with each other's work. Uh, I'm guessing that H is kind of like a rich person. He has money to move our off world. So the world where a Wade is, is like a, think of the oasis like a universe, okay? So let's say that uh, this is planet Earth, okay? And this is where Wade and all the poor people is. But if you want to go to this other world, okay? This one over here, you have to pay a fee to teleport from here to here. 
but you have to pay with money from the from the from the oasis but as much as h has money he can go from one word and let's imagine that this cup over here this cup over here is another word so he can move from here to here whenever he wants because he has money but Wade doesn't and uh, so he cannot move from the same planet that he is because he doesn't have money but H has money to move from world to world and uh, what they do is that they hang they hang out they watch video game they play video games and watch uh, Japanese movies because they're friends and that what friends do they they share some time um, and they try to find keys f to, f to find the copper key. So three important facts that I have given you, you're gonna have to make the other two from page 46 and, 40 and 47. It's uh, those pages you're gonna do them alone. So you're gonna have to send me five important facts from today. It's a very interesting story. Um, and remember, we're trying to make one page of information into something smaller. Sometimes we're gonna have more details than other times. If you make it too small, you're not gonna have all the points. If you make it into one sentence, that's not an important idea, that's a sentence. So you have to make it between three and four sentences. So it's worth the reading and the points. So you're gonna have to send this some for, no. Yeah, you're gonna have to send this on Friday and um, I hope that you're okay. We are going to continue reading 48 on um, Thursday, and I'll see you later. Remember, guys, all of this in cursive with a pen. Cursive and pen. If you didn't do it in cursive and pen, well, you have the opportunity. Erase everything and do it in cursive with a pen, because cursive with a pen is what I will need. If I'm not wrong, I told you. Yeah. I told you Monday to work in cursive with a pen. So I'm expecting this in cursive with a pen. If you send it in print with a pencil or in cursive or with a pencil, still don't have all the points. So I'm expecting everything in cursive with a pen, work in your notebook. If you have to re re redo it, redo it. You're studying for the exams that I'm almost coming. Um, work with cursive with a pen, finish 46 and 47, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.